five biggest questions when it comes to buying a GPS watch. So are you looking for a watch to give you some distances to greens, those kind of ideas? Here's five of the biggest questions we get asked about these devices. Number one, do they come with subscriptions? Well, the Sky Caddy one, which I don't actually have with me here, does come with a subscription. Most don't. The only advantage you get with the Sky Caddy one is they do actually walk the course to map it. So in theory, you're getting a higher level of accuracy. Should you use GPS or should you use a laser range finder? Common question. Well, best of both worlds, you probably would have both. Simple of ease, so how easy they are. The watches are fantastic. Just having that front, middle and back yardage, um, those kind of ideas, being able to see hazards, it presents super easy, super quickly, and it does make it much more user-friendly for lots of golfers. The rangefinder, obviously very accurate, very good, but if you haven't got view of the thing you're trying to go at, so dog legs over hills, obviously there's nothing to measure. Are they accurate? Yes, very accurate. More accurate than us, that's the biggest problem. We're not that accurate, they're very accurate. What do you get when you pay extra? Well, you've got things like the shot scope watch here comes with statistics, so it allows you to track your game, things like that. You get bigger screens, nicer bevels, better straps when you tend to up the price as well. You might get a few lifestyle um, features jumped in as well, so step counter, those kind of ideas also. So you can go wherever you want in the pay scale, but as you do go up, the features tend to increase, the brightness, the clarity of the screen, being able to move the pin around, you just get a few fancier features. Can they do slope? No. So your rangefinder with slope might be able to work out or can work out how much up or downhill the distances are. The GPS systems is just going to give you a front, middle and back yardage and a pin one if you place your pin subject to the ones you go for but it's not gonna work slope in. So A, that's good that you can use it in competitions, but not so good if you do wanna learn how to control those slopes.